I'm fine. Yeah, you sound like it. Who am I speaking with? I go buy chocolate. You go buy chocolate? Okay, okay. Chocolate, where you from? Um, I'm located in Buff right now. Okay, okay. And uh, Miss Chocolate, are you in my lifestyle or outside of it? Uh, I'm currently in. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what's up. How, how long you uh, been professing to be a participant of the lifestyle? About two years. Okay, okay. And where are you from? Like I said, I'm located in Buffalo. I know where you're located, but where you're from? I'm from Buffalo. Oh, born and raised? Okay. Yes. Okay, and that's where you started and stayed at? Hmm. Yes. Okay, so what compelled you to call in? Talk to me. Um, I, I was just calling in because I had certain questions because I, I am in the lifestyle, but I have been doing, you know, stuff that's probably like out of line and, and stuff with the, with the lifestyle. So I was just looking to see if there's anything you could say or tell um, me about getting back right. How old are you? I am 29. Yeah, I didn't think you sounded young. Somebody said you sounded young. I didn't think you sounded young at all. Okay, uh, what's your questions? Shoot. Like I um, just explained, I said I am in the lifestyle, but I know that I have been, you know, probably doing things that's out of the lifestyle and probably like, you okay, know, stop right there. What things have you been doing out of the lifestyle? What do you mean by that? Help me out. Like lying and just doing things like that and, and just, you know, not really, I guess, believe, like, submitting in totality when when it comes to the game. Just like, just like bad behavior. Okay, but what, what I'm saying, okay, so you've been lying. So are you currently under instructions? Yes, I am. And how long have you been with this instructor? for about two years. Also, is this your turnout, folks? Yes. Okay. Yes, often long for about two years. Have you ever got out of pocket with somebody uh, else? No. He's the only man that you've ever paid? No, I was in a situation where I, I had told the other person that I didn't want to, like, do anything or I didn't even want to proceed with the with the lifestyle because I knew that I was doing um stuff before and I just you know I was just trying to like get back right so I was I was telling him and, and letting him know like hey I didn't want to do this and I don't want to really be with you and, and and yes there was a time where we had got up and I had already explained that to him and I had hit a lick but you know I didn't want it to be any problems or anything so yes I had gave the money to him just on the strength that I didn't want it to be anything else beyond that. So other than that, I didn't really choose him or I didn't want to choose him. But yes, I just gave the money for on the strength that I didn't want any issues with, with that person or anything else. Okay. Um, let me ask you something. Do you have uh, children? Yes. How many children do you have? I have about four. You got four children. Okay. Yes. And and where are the four children right now? Where do you have them or? Yes, I have them. Okay, that's a blessing. Okay, so um, the instructor, the the man that you appointed to preside over your life, not only is he presiding over you, but he's presiding over the children. Correct. Yes. Okay. So what I would say uh, to you is, if you have a man that is presiding over you and your children and those children come from you know another man or other men right yes if you've been blessed by the game to have a man who's making wise decisions that benefit you and your children why would you jeopardize that by lying or doing anything contrary to that which is right to basically lose a situation like that um, I can admit that, you know, I, I was very, like, 
wrapped up in the emotional spirit to where like any and everything could get to me and it you know it just would go bad from there on the way that I was thinking about it and, and stuff like that so that wasn't really helping me like instead of me just being a person where I was like okay you know this and this happened and just try to learn and grow from it I would just you know beat myself up about it feel bad about it feel guilty and just get down oh okay you know, oh um, man, we're not worried about, let me just respond to that. I'm not worried about one of my offsprings, you know, talking crazy. You know, me talking about the Dr. B.O.A., come on, man. That's my one of my offsprings. That's that's one of the children that don't want to acknowledge that, you know, mainly come from father, you know. But listen, this is what I say to your uh, situation. You know, um, again, you know, if this man is not the biological father of these children, but yet he's presiding over you and you know, his wisdom is benefiting you and those children. Don't jeopard, don't do anything to put that, you know what I mean? To don't make anything, don't do anything, say anything to make that situation accelerate to an expiration date. Don't do that. Yeah, but not under Go ahead. A pre what I'm saying is appreciate who you have because for him to actually be presiding over you and you have four children you profess to have four children and if you got four children that man is pretty much overworked and underpaid especially if y'all in buffalo because that don't even sound right y'all been in buffalo for two years you got four kids and he's presiding over you and children that's not biologically his, I know he's overworked and underpaid. So in a, in, if this story is accurate, you need to be on your best behavior. You don't need to be doing yeah. anything that's considered to be out of pocket, out of bounds. You should be appreciative, you know what I mean, that any representative wanted to preside over you in that situation, especially in an area like Buffalo where nothing is really going on. No, and like I said, I understand, you know, and I take full accountability for my actions and what I have done as a female who's also, you know, working on trying to get back right and, and just be, like you said, on the best behavior. So I am, you know, picking up the Quran and, and, and really trying to, you know, be one with that and, and just doing anything and everything to to show, show the one that I'm, to show the person that I'm under instructions of that, hey, you know, I, I know that I messed up, I did wrong, I have lied, I had deceived, I have lacked in um, um, lady qualities and everything of that sort. So I, I have been just, you know, really trying to put my best foot forward and, and really just like, you know, show him that I am um, sorry and I, I am looking for, you know, uh, forgiveness. And I'm willing to go through any, you know, trial and tribulation or any hardship that I have to face behind my actions to get it right. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, look, don't let this be the last time, you know, uh, that we speak. Hopefully the next time we speak, you know, your situation will be better. But for somebody that is at your age and got that particular situation, you should have gratitude for any representative of the game to be basically involved with you in that situation and in that location. You need to be, on, yeah. like, again, let me say that again. You need to be on your best behavior. You need to be giving God praise if he's an all, because honestly, from what I'm getting out this situation, it really don't sound like pimping and horn. It sounds like he's a guy that's professing to be a pimp and you know what I mean? He, you guys are just basically using the lifestyle as a hustle uh, to get by. Because no, that's, listen to me, listen that's to me, listen to me. Because no authentic P, unless he's on parole or probation, I just don't see him staying in the location of Buffalo for a complete two years with a broad that got four children. Do you hear me? No, it, Four kids. it hasn't just it hasn't just been it hasn't just been in the location of Buffalo. I've been with him on and off for two years, but it mm -hmm. hasn't just been in the location of Buffalo. I have also been other places outside of Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? 
going down and stunk down about, you know what I'm saying, the lifestyle. I have also, you know, hit these other places and really racked it up out of those places, you know what I'm saying, off this game, the information that I have received from him. What other places have you been? I've been through Cleveland. I've been through Cincinnati. I've been through New York. I've been through Scranton. I've been through other little places. Mm. Um. Again, you haven't done anything and you haven't been anywhere. And I'm not really going hard on you because, you know, you, you said two years, you know, you, you, you know, you really ain't even got your feet wet in this game yet. Um, so what I will say to you is this. If you want to speak to me privately about your situation and get some games, some counsel, then just go to my uh, website or send uh, $200 uh, to the uh, cash app. And just let it be known that this is for a consultation. And me and you will speak private, and I give you exhortation later on privately if you would like to speak about it. And since you're in the lifestyle, you know, $200 ain't shit to you. No, it's, it's not nothing to me, but I wasn't looking to proceed to go that far with, with the conversation. I was just looking to call in and let you know, hey, you know, I have been in the lifestyle on and off for about two years, uh -huh. but, you know, I am... I am currently under some instructions, which, which, which is good instructions. And I have been out of town besides Buffalo. I've been other places, you know what I'm saying? Showing and show, showing the game that I am about the lifestyle. So I was just wondering, like, like I said, I was just again, calling in to see if again, you have any again, again. information you have to, to, you have to be just, able, you know. Listen to me. You have to be able to do something that most women are not able to do. You have to look at your situation from his perspective. Matter of fact, I didn't even ask that. How old is he? He's he's old enough. Okay, what's old enough? Like he's he's old enough. Like I'm not looking to disclose information about my my people's on um, on the thing. Okay, well I don't know his name or anything like that. Damn, you don't know his age. He's up about in his thirties. Okay, so whether he was in his 30s or 40s, right? Like I said, if your story is accurate, you have to look at the fact that this guy is in his 30s and he's dealing with somebody who has four kids and you residing in Buffalo. In the pimp game, that is an overworked, underpaid situation. So no, like, I, so like well I said, paid. no, paid no, no, no. I know Buffalo, baby. Buffalo ain't, Buffalo don't got enough going on for a real pimp that's actually looking to get paid. And a pimp that's really looking to get paid, he's not going to be dealing with no bitch that got four damn kids and we just stay in Buffalo and residing in Buffalo. He playing with the game, you playing with the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm just letting it be you know, known and, and just kicking it like it really is. You know, a pimp that really want to be successful in the lifestyle, you know, uh, if that bitch do got some kids, uh, four kids or more, she better be a hell of a thief or she better be a hell of a hoe. And you talking about some, you only been in the game two years and I can tell that you as green as a pool table. So I know your numbers don't look the way you understand me that a real pimp, you know what I mean, want them numbers to look. You don't have the information to pay a pimp, you know, like he want to be paid. And then you in the location of Buffalo. Ain't shit going on over there. Yes, this is where I'm at right now. But like I said, I've been to other places. I make I make moves to other places. This is not the only place Baby, that I just stay you at. You can go and decide at it and get get get. You know what I'm saying? The the lifestyle, the you, money for the lifestyle. Can, no, we could put you in Vegas, and you would still not. You know what I mean? Come up. You know what I mean with anything. You know that was worthy of being called a respectable trap. You know what I mean for the pimping. Matter of fact, how much do you wait? That doesn't matter how much I weigh. It does matter. It's got something to do with your markability. As I'm, a whole. I'm, one, I'm, one, I'm 120 something. You won, you 120 what? I'm 120 something. The spirit of discernment within me is telling me that you're lying. You, nothing about you says you're 120 anything. What is your true weight? Yes, I just, I just weighed myself. It, was, it said 121 point something, so yes. Okay, then why did you originally say one point something? Now, all of a sudden, you know exactly. Like I said, you're lying to me concerning your weight. Now, you might have been telling the truth I mean, about I some of the other things. I don't ever weight. speak about my weight, so. 
Okay, but just tell the truth. How much do you weigh? 121.50. Okay, so basically if you 121, I'm just going to say that you 242. Okay, so look, check this out. Um, you have four children, you're overweight, you know what I mean? And you really don't have the information to go get it state to state. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, you really need to be thankful that any representation, if he's some authentic representation of the game, you need to be thanking your maker that a pimp even blessed you with some time because your situation, you know, is like I said, it's an overworked, underpaid situation. And I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I'm just telling you like it is. No, I don't Listen feel to bad, me. But Listen like to I, me. Listen to me. When like I'm talking. I said, hold I, on. I, hold I on. Did. Hold on, bitch. What you need to be doing, you know what I mean, is giving it your all. Because if you're not going to give it your all, then leave this shit alone. Because, but if you, you got four children, you don't got no time to be playing. Because it's not about you. It's about the motherfucking kids. You know? So, I'm going to tell you like this. If this story, this movie that you gave me, if it's accurate, if that motherfucker got any pimp bone in his body, you know what I mean? Y'all need to get the fuck out of Buffalo. You know what I mean? Because that ain't where it's at. You know, res even reside in there. Like, no, no. You know, even sending you on automatic to go other places. I can just listen to you and tell that you're green. You don't know how to get no goddamn money. You slipping up on a banana peel and falling into dates and shit like that. You know you're not uh, ca catching dates like that. You're not making no money like that. You know? I didn't make it in Okay, consistently, how much are you making on a daily? How much are you producing, you know what I mean, uh, on a daily basis? Keep it real with the gang. Like I said, I did. You what? Like you said, you what? Did you hit the mute button? Did your jaw hit the mute button? Because I can't hear you. No. Okay, so like you said, how much are you consistently making every day? What's your average? Consistently on an everyday basis, sometimes it'll be about three, depending on, on, on the client that I'm dealing with. And some days, like, you know, there'll be slow days. So it goes like that for me. Exactly. So you gave confirmation to my point. So a fast day for you is $300 and a slow day for you is less than that. So you're not making no money. That's why I told you that you was playing with the game, baby. This ain't to make you feel bad. I'm just trying to wake you up to some game. If your fast day is $300 by the grace of God, you know what I'm saying? I'm here to tell you that, you know what I mean? You and that nigga, y'all both frauds. Y'all playing with the game. The game ain't about making no $300 every goddamn day, especially when you got four motherfucking kids. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, you either going to really... You know, be real about this shit and give it your all and fuck with some real pimping. You know what I mean? Because uh, from this situation, I can tell that this really not pimping and hoeing. You think it's pimping and hoeing because you selling pussy, but it's not. Because no real pimp, like I said, is going to be residing in Buffalo for two years with some bride that got folk. No, this situation ain't pimping. So, you know, if you're going to do it for real, do it for real, baby. You know what I mean? Stop this. Yeah, like I say, I am, I, I am doing it for real. But yes, I understand, you know, that I have made some decisions and mistakes on my behalf as a lady, as, as a female, you know, that I shouldn't have did. And the only thing that, you know, I was looking to do is just, like you said, get right back with God and get back with the person that I had choose to and, and, and to to get back right with God and to, to do whatever I needed to do to, to you know, repent for, for those choices. Because everybody has, you know, those times and falls and mistakes of where they, they're, you know, they're not doing what they're supposed to because of the way that they were thinking. And yes, like I said, I admit that at times I was, I was moving and thinking somewhat of like a square because I was, I was, I had emotional problems even before, you know, entering. So, you know, when I came in, I didn't have that kind of checked out. So yes, it kind of, you know, was playing with me and messing up things for me. So, like, that's not to say that the person that I am under who is willing to, to take that time to help me check myself and get myself together is not really official because he doesn't reside here. And like okay. I said, it's been on, on, on and off for about two years. Okay. That I've been with, with okay, well, to look. be under the instructions. Okay, well, look, this is what I'm going to say to you. I like what you said. You know what I mean? Uh, you need to ask God for forgiveness, repent, 
and give your life to God. You know, go ahead and stop. You know, get out the way. Leave this lifestyle alone. You know, you and your children, y'all sit up there and get in the will of God. And that man that you with, you know what I mean? He just might be down to get married to you or settle down. You settle down with that man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you get you a man to settle down with, you know what I mean? And, and you go live the nice, you know, square life. Because I can tell, you know what I mean, that this is really not for you, baby. You know what I mean? So, yeah, just go ahead and uh, get your life to God and uh, pray to God that he bless you with a job or a career and you go that route. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, baby, I appreciate you for you, uh, you calling in. Shout out to you and Buffalo. I got to go. All right. Let me look at the time. Let me look at the time. I guess I can take another call or two. Yeah, we might as well touch that three hours. We going on it anyway, so fuck it. All right, so uh, let me see. Sing and come Jesus right now. You a fool. You a fool. <laughs> you a fool, Rob. Hello? Yeah, hello. Who is this? Mine, you tell me. Bro, hang up. Hang, hang up the phone, man. Let this, see, this is what I mean. I be wanting to talk to bitches and all you dumbass niggas be calling in, man. God damn. You know what I mean? If it's going to be a nigga to call in, man, call Cool Calm Collective, you know, with a question, some statements, man. But all you little riddling baby ass niggas, man, man, chill out with all that goofy shit. Hello. Hello? Yeah, 